when I'm working with a client and we're working together for however long it may take to get that business plan where we want it, the end result when we see that funding notice from the bank come through, that they've approved that loan, that construction begins, that we get to enjoy that feeling with our clients. And so it may not be that we're in the middle of everything and we're, we're helping you build your building, but in a way we're helping you build your business. There's no better feeling than to see something that we've worked on together for so long become yours. Small Business Development Center is a network of offices. Uh, we're actually located all throughout the United States. Um, in Illinois, we have offices from top to bottom of Illinois. Um, we are funded by the Small Business Administration, the Illinois Department of Commerce and Economic Opportunity, and our host organization. And here, our host organization is Southeastern Illinois College. We are a program that is a no-cost program. Um, we provide assistance to individuals, entrepreneurs, small business owners um, in business plans, marketing, finding financing, uh, payroll questions, literally any question that you could possibly have about running a small business. I myself do not know everything, um, so I'm thankful for the ability to have um, a network of individuals throughout the area who assist me, professionals who work in fields that can help small business owners, and we're able to provide that assistance, again, at no cost. We're a part of the Illinois Small Business Development Center Network, and so we offer workshops, education, and training. Uh, we can help train your employees on various topics, and so if you have employees there are things that you need to consider like, do they need Excel training? Do they need customer service training or social media or sexual harassment? Again, it's no cost. So we can help provide that with no cost to you. Um, and then, you know, if there's additional programs out there, we can do it, we can help at a lower cost if we're bringing in an expert to, to teach. We offer a lot of assistance in different areas and so, you know, we may have someone come in who's looking for somebody to help them really understand the day-to-day -day of their business. Um, that's available too, just how to process. Um, it's been a really tough year after a pandemic and how do you move forward after a crisis in your area? Um, we've had a lot of, of situations where marketing has become an issue and uh, we're happy to help in those situations. We're happy to help provide assistance. And so we're a phone call away, an email away. Uh, we see people in person through Zoom, over the phone and through text. Um, and we're available Monday through Friday. Anyone can be an SBDC client. Uh, you know, we see people of all ages. We have people who are teenagers who are thinking about starting businesses now that they can work on through college. Uh, we've met with people of all different ages who are interested in starting a business. We're working with people who have started all kinds of different small businesses. And we're able to help them from the beginning idea phase all the way through the start of the business uh, and then beyond. So we see people who have been in business for many years come in who just want to update something, like they want to learn more about marketing or what new technology is out there. And we're able to help them learn those new products or learn new techniques to really help their business. And so this program is not just for one type of person. This is for anyone who's interested in starting a small business or who owns a small business. We're going to set up some kind of meeting with you after that initial conversation. So that meeting may be over the phone, it may be in person, it may be over Zoom, whatever is most comfortable for you and fits your schedule. When we sit down, we're going to go over a checklist really of you know where are you in your process of starting your small business. And from there, we're going to gather information. You're gonna receive a, a small business packet from the state of Illinois that helps you understand how to start your business in Illinois. 
And then from there, we're gonna take that information and have you fill out a business plan guide. And whenever you fill out that information, it helps you, the client, and me as your advisor to sit down and really formulate your business plan to our best ability. So your business plan is a living, breathing document. We will scrap things and we will add things as we go along. And as we're doing that, you know, we take that information that we have from that initial meeting, that initial consultation, and grow that within that living, breathing business plan document. We're gonna add in information about your projections. Uh, we need strong information from you for, for those projections and we will help you do the research. At the end of that process, uh, we're going to have a good solid document for you to present to your financial institution, uh, to be able to apply for funding of whatever sort you're looking for, and to be able to show that to you all of the people who are involved in your business, your accountant, your attorney, whomever that may be. Uh, but your business plan is the history of your business. I feel like we have, there's a lot of intimidation. There's intimidation when finance is involved. There's intimidation when you know somebody's questioning your idea but you should never be concerned or worried when somebody's questioning your idea, especially from us at the Illinois Small Business Development Center, because what we're doing is helping you refine your ideas and grow your ideas to something that's truly sustainable for you. So if you're a startup and you're thinking about creating a small business, the first thing that I would do is I would make sure that that is a need for the area that you're wishing or hoping to be located in. Um, if you're looking to start an online business, how are you going to really spread that knowledge of that business? Um, if you're going to be in a brick and mortar location, how are you going to sell that product or sell that service? Does that area truly need that product or service? Because you wanna make sure that your market is going to be able to fund you, to keep you going. If you've been in business for an extended amount of time, the biggest piece of advice I can give you is to you know, never stop looking at new technology. What products are out there to help your job become easier, to help you sustain your business and keep growing your business at a rate that's comfortable for you because there are many products and services that are created on a consistent basis and it's the knowledge of what they are and we can definitely help at the Small Business Development Center.